hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm horse and you're watching possible now so guys today i'm going to guide you about that how you can enable scare boot and tpm 2.0 in games like fortnite and valorant and this video is going to be really short and simple so just watch the video till the end and if you're new in this channel kindly you like this video share to your friends and subscribe the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so guys step number one here is we need to enable the secure boot so secure boot is a bio settings that ensures only trusted software runs when you start your pc and to check if secure boot is enabled press the window key plus r and to open the run dialog box type and paste the command ms info 32 and hit enter now this will open the system information window scroll down slightly and look for an entry called secure boot state make sure it says on and if it's off or disabled you will need to enable it by following these steps so first of all you need to uh, first restart your system and enter the bios when you restart a black screen will appear with text at the bottom indicating which key to press the enter the bios uh, usually f2 f10 or f12 or delete button and tap that key repeatedly to access the bios once inside you may be an easy mode switch to advanced mode look for a boot or security tab for my motherboard the security boot settings was under the boot tab and scroll down and you will need the secure boot option to enable it i had to disable csm support uh, first after disabling csm i could access the secure boot settings and change the secure boot mode from custom to standard finally i enable the secure boot option by clicking on it and selecting enabled once done save the settings and exit in bios that's secure boot enabled and uh, after that guys step number two here is we need to enable the tpm 2.0 uh, so let's enable tpm which is required for security features like anti-cheat in games like fortnite and valorant tournaments to check your tpm status press window key plus r again and in this time you need to type here tpm.msc in the run dialog box hit enter and and windows will open showing the status of your tpm and if it stay and if it says tpm is ready for use you're good to go and if not you will need to enable it in the bios so restart your system again and enter the bios again using the same keys as before once inside switch to advanced mode first and look for settings or security tab for my gigabyte motherboard the tpm settings was under miscellaneous trusted computing look for options labeled tpm pwt or ftpm in my case it was already enabled you can also check the device select option at the bottom to see which version of tpm you're using i recommend leaving it on auto unless you have a specific reason to change it and don't forget to save and exit the bios after making the changes and confirm everything is enabled to double check that both secure boot and tpm are enabled go to start menu open settings and navigate to privacy and security option Go to Windows Security and under Device Security, you should see two green check marks: one for Security Processor and another for Secure Boot. If both are green, you're all set. And uh, that's it, guys. I hope now your problem is fixed. And if you found this video helpful, kindly like this video, share to your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And we will meet in the next one. Until then, peace out.